What is going on my Boroskis? My name is Totski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today I'm here to talk about and just kind of discuss the Film Red celebration just in, in its entirety but mainly bringing our attention to one specific thing and I know a lot of people have been talking about the drama already about how there has been essentially no content to play and I definitely echo those statements and I totally agree with that. I also briefly mentioned it in my video yesterday Today, where I talked about the actual batch coming out with Luffy, Usopp and Yasop, etc. But we already can understand and agree to the fact that yes, the content that we have received in this celebration has been severely lackluster. Uh, although we must say that the SNS campaigns with the free Rainbow Gems, that's obviously been amazing. But to have three Super Sugo Fests as the quote unquote content for the event is extremely underwhelming and very disappointing but i mean the vi the main purpose of this video is to really bring attention to the characters that had been arriving in this celebration because in my opinion i'm super disappointed in terms of what they've provided us with this celebration just in terms of the characters we know the events are bad and trust me the information has been conveyed through the right channels and all we can do is hope that things change okay we we've done all that we can right but the actual characters themselves also kind of underwhelming um i think uta is by far and away the highlight of the entire sugo fest i think everyone can pretty much uh, state that that uta is the most impressive character in the film red celebration that character is amazing and is going to be amazing moving forward even despite the fact that we don't even know what a super evolution is going to be like yet However, speaking of the super evolution, we have something here that we need to talk about. So we have this little advertisement here uh, on the Japanese version of One Piece Treasure Cruise Twitter account, and it basically was just, you know, revealed to be a, an, an advertisement for the game with the latest Sugo Fest, giving us, you know, a little cut shot of trailers as well as some of the characters that are going to be arriving throughout the month of September. So we see some very familiar characters, Treasure Map Free to Play Chopper, we've got the Zoro, Sanji, and the Jinbei that are arriving with the Snake Man Sugo Fest, but we have some other characters, we've got Frankie, Robin, uh, and also the Nami and obviously Usopp coming with, with the Usopp and Yasop character, but those characters haven't been revealed yet, and it's pretty straightforward to kind of assume that they might be involved with the Kizuna Sugo Fest, or potentially there's going to be another generic Sugo Fest at the end of the month. We don't really know yet. Um, the thing about it is, is that all of these film red Super Sugos, part one is going to be staying until the end of the event and the end of the film red events is october 29th so it's going for quite a long time it just makes you think like even though all of these super sugo fests are you know pretty much wrapping up after this point after luffy is there going to be actually anything else before the end of the of the event period being the 29th of october potentially but i don't know if they're going to do legit like three full months of film red stuff that is a bit excessive in my opinion but we can pretty much assume that these characters being Brooke, Robin, Nami, Frankie are probably going to be arriving in some type of Kizuna event, probably after the treasure map or something past that. But also, they go on to further show Uta here, and then straight after this, they show something very interesting that may allude to her super evolution, which is kind of fascinating, um, because we have seen in some of the flavor texts of some of the characters that they do mention the quote-unquote menace, and uh, this character right here that they'll show, they'll show it right here as, uh, as it fades away from the shanks. This potentially could be the super evolution of Uta relating to that in some sense. One thing about it is that's kind of interesting is that uh, in Yasop and Usopp's Pyrumble kit, they debuff Driven and they also reduce damage from fighter characters. So there's a potential uh, way that this unit could be um, relating to being, you know, Driven or a fighter character. Probably Driven makes the most sense. Driven is always associated with the evil characters in a lot of senses. Um, so anyway, as, as we said, you know, this is just an advertisement showing this and we have the new Luffy. But one thing in particular that I've stated in multiple tweets and in, 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 on streams and stuff is that I've wanted to see a modern or current day shanks revealed in the film red celebration we obviously had the shanks that they just showed a little earlier we had this shanks that came out you know being the flashback shanks which is cool and all and we have, you know a lot of a lot of drama surrounding this character in general um we kind of were expecting to see a little bit more from this character and people still hold the regard that this guy may super evolve later on down the line the thing is though is there is a little bit of uh evidence to support that not occurring and the evidence to support stuff like this is through the character ID system that Bandai use on their back end. So we can see that 
each of these character icons, they're actually given an identification number, and this is not the exact ID number of the character in the game itself. Like, the new Snake Man Luffy has an ID of, I think it was 3707 or something like that, which obviously, in, we're in the three to, three to 4,000 range of units, and this is in the 12,000s. So these are just art asset numbers, right? And the thing is, is that Uta had a blank space. So it shows Chopper here, his uh, uh, 760 is his last three digits. Previous to that, his five star version was uh, 759. And then before that, there's actually a blank space. And then before that is Uta's legend. So between Uta and Chopper, there was actually a blank space for there to be a character asset, which is her super evolution as we now know. But then when we have a look at Shanks, we got 801, 802, and then 803 is straight into Beckman and Lucky Roo. So there is no blank art asset saved for this Shanks to be receiving a super evolution. So as it stands right now, Shanks is most likely not receiving a super evolution in this event period. However, they may introduce another film red celebration later on down the line. Maybe when we have the Blu-ray release of the film, kind of similar to what they did with film Stampede. So initially with Stampede, they had their initial release. And then a few months later, when the Blu-ray would release uh, on Treasure Cruise, they had a secondary event to celebrate the film once again, which introduced some new characters into the game. So they may do that with this Shanks, where potentially when they have a, another celebration for Film Red, they give him a super evolution, but I think it's a, probably a wise idea that they're probably just going to release another Shanks. That's what I would expect to be happening. But overall, I'm just really disappointed because we all wanted to see a current day Shanks in treasure cruise because he is so badass and he like literally he is the focal point of the film or one of the main focal points of the film so the fact that they gave us the flashback shanks as the main shanks of this celebration doesn't make a lot of sense now another thing that i want to bring your attention to and why i think we're not getting another shanks in this celebration is the brand new special animation for the new luffy that we just got revealed on the japanese twitter account so here we have the special animation it looks great by the way i think it's a pretty cool looking animation but in this animation you'll see something that's kind of fascinating where you have luffy doing his cool attacks going from bounce man into snake man and shanks makes an appearance in the special animation where he takes part part in doing the combat so you would think that if they were going to do something like this that it, it would mean it would mean that there's not going to be like another shanks character that would surround this luffy um and you would think that you know even like a dual shanks and luffy would make a lot of sense if they're doing something similar to that in that vein so it just really is bizarre design decisions to do something like that where the whole focal point of the film is around this one specific character but they don't even give it to us in the game it's just very, very weird. I mean, considering we have, you know, Beckman and Lucky Roo, we have Yasop, the, the red-haired pirates in their current day form, but when they give us Shanks, it's the flashback Shanks. It just... It just odd it just doesn't make any sense to me at all so the way that it stands now i really don't think we're getting another shanks in this celebration i just think at this point it would be a little strange uh, and the evidence would say that we're not getting a super evolution of shanks either and it doesn't look like we're going to get a super evolution of this luffy as well so i don't really understand some of the design choices however they still may have a secondary celebration of film red may that might even just be the new year celebration if the if the blue comes out around December ish the new year celebration might just be another Luffy and Shanks we don't I mean we don't know what could be happening around New Year's at this point in time yet it's way too early to tell but I mean who knows who knows what the hell is going on but what we do know is is that the celebration in its entirety has been relatively underwhelming in terms of the events that they've given us because you would think that with such a special occasion of a film releasing they would give us some special time events and we know that when stampede came out they definitely gave us that they gave us like three raid bosses there was an arena or, or a coliseum that was dedicated to the event as well we had the blitz battle as well like there, there was so much going into stampede but the only real i guess different event that we got was the first initial blitz battle with Uta when, when Uta first released. And after that, it was just, you know, treasure map, Kizuna. And the Kizuna itself gave us no free-to-play unit. It was just Shiki as the boss. So, like, it just, it feels very lazy. I don't know what's going on. But, look, all of the issues that we've had with this celebration, they have been conveyed through the right channels. And all we can do is hope that things change in the future. Because, obviously, nothing can change right now. It's too hard to do that. I would think that the overwhelming majority of players would list the... The film red celebration overall as an underwhelming celebration and i i 
can't disagree with that. I can't. I really, really can't. Especially when they when they just shove three Super Sugo Fests, separate Super Sugo Fests into our face and expect us, to, expect us to pull when there's no real content to really play around it. It's just, yeah, it's just a bizarre design decision. So hopefully things change in the future, guys. But that's going to wrap it up for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys did, make sure you go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.